again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 14 by 14 inch canvas. Some mead and black paint already wiped around the edges. And I have Chantilly Lace from Prison Pour that I'm going to put down the center. And I did this style of painting pr recently and sold it. It was a 10 by 10. Thank you very much. You know who you are for purchasing my artwork. And it was gorgeous. I did not actually really want to get rid of it. So, this is the first time I'm using the Chantilly lace down the center. I use a different white metallic usually. Something a little bit off brand. So I thought I would try it with this. I do need a little bit of a puddle, so I am gonna put a little bit more and not smooth it out. It might make it really weird, who knows. I'm going to go on to put some more mead and paint on. You could use Artist Loft, you could use whatever black base paint that you have made up and ready to go. And I'm going to grab a clean spatula because I might want the one I've got. These are the OXO Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Spatulas, best paint spreading tools I know of, bar none available by looking on my Amazon link, which is on my link tree. And if you can't find my link tree, just ask me for the link. It has all my links on it. So it's a really handy thing to have. It has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more. It's good for shopping stuff that I have on pixels.com, Fine Art America, Society6, which is also in the link tree. And, uh, Probably other things like Sachi art. I cannot, I have put paint bottles in my way, so I'm gonna have to flip my canvas around without using my turntable until I move some of those out of the way. So bear with me for a minute and wipe that off. Start again. I do love the way the spatula can take a bead of paint and just move it right up into the desired location without interrupting the other paint color. Just squeeze it right in. My intention is to do a swipe as I did in the past, but I'm tempted. I made it really simple last time, which probably made it perfect. And I'm tempted to add a couple more colors because it looked when I looked at the painting, I said that's perfect and I'd love to keep it, but I'd like to see what it looks like with these other two colors. So we'll see how I feel about that in a minute. And I am going to wipe this off on my Loli Viffy, or Love Life, or Lola Fee, or however you want to say it, my silicone mat. They have a bunch of products they, uh, they gifted me a long time ago, and I really appreciate that. And I'm going to wipe off that spatula, because I want that spatula to be ready to be used with the dioxazine purple and Aussie Floetrol. I'm going to use some Mayan Gold. I might be being a little tidier. I kind of like it when I offset these and they're not directly down the center, but I don't think it's going to be a problem here. And I know what I didn't have last time was the African Violet, and I've got it this time, so I really want to use it. Give it a bit of a shake. Make it a little less than uniform, a little more organic. I don't know what's going to happen because I did that. So now I'm going to use some of my pink diamond, which is actually going to come second. I'm going to use my poinsettia. And I wish I could tell you the name of the set. But anyway, you guys need to know that there's a 20% off promo code. Right under the video for color art. I don't know why I keep going around the end like that. But I figure if I'm going to go around on this side, I might as well add some more everywhere. So I'll try and move some of these bottles out of my way as I go. 
And I made a gold cell activator out of Aussie Flow Troll and fluid iridescent gold from Golden. This is, oh, this is Hot Orchid, which is probably jasmine in primary elements. They don't sell this. This was a prison pour that has been discontin discontinued, but when it went on sale, I bought some, and even though it dendrites and bleeds, I love it. This is the pink diamond, which will be absolutely perfect. And the colors that I was talking about adding, I want to add a tiny bit of bonfire. And a little bit of pink dahlia. Oh, and I have more colors. <laughs> a little pink dahlia because it goes great with the bonfire. So maybe that's what I'll do, put it right with, right with the bonfire. I'd like to have enough paint, and being that it's a 14 by 14 can inch canvas, this is going to help. This is Frosted Berry, I believe. Which in theory will add a lighter element to help make it more dramatic. And what am I going to do now? I'm going to grab the dioxazine purple. Am I? Do I want to put a dot of the blue velvet in a couple places? Because I can. Hey, that's the name of my first book. Next to my second book on the Amazon link that's on the link tree. It's called Because I Can. The second one is Unlimited Possibilities. I don't think that's going to hurt anything. I got all kinds of colors I want to use. I think in the first video that I did, I used, and is it within eyesight? I had a papillon, which was a primary elements. There we go. And this time I'm going to use the frosted. It's sort of like in the same shade family as the uh, frosted berry. I so want to add turquoisey colors to this, but right now this is where I'm starting. And last time I did this, I started with this tip and pulled down, but this time I want to use the blade. And get down and get funky. Hopefully I missed, yes, I mixed the viscosity so that it's a little bit heavier than it has been in the past when I made up this combination. Now, I think I'm just going to super dose this with the purple because the purple's what made it extraordinary. All right, here goes nothing. And I got stripes because I put dots on my blade of my spatula. And I still have cell act. No, that's black paint. Where's the black paint must be coming off of here. So I'm going to try Just gold first, and then purple after, and I'm not going to line up my center. And yay, I have enough paint. I want to just use what I've got. I could use a scrape dish. I think that's what I'm going to do. Scrape dish leaves me paint for touching up my edges, or dribbling, or touching up anything later on but it cleans my blade off. So, oh, nice cells. I'm going for the, I'm gonna have to make a pink cell activator. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna go right down here across the end. Am I? Yes, I am. I'm going to double swipe. And I think I'm going to do it again. Just going to use the edge of my spatula. I might tip this a little bit. I also might scrape some paint off. All right, speaking of scraping some paint off, let's take a little more off. 
I suppose if I want to, I can do something over here. Let me think about that. I want to use, I have some magenta, golden magenta, that I experimented with a little bit of Aussie Floetrol. So it's another color variation on our theme that I'm willing to experiment with. Now, actually, do I want white or black? I might want some black. I'm going all the way to the edge. Oh, I like that magenta. Wow. Now I think I'm going to use the thin part of my blade. Love that. Going to use some of that on that other end, I think. Yes. And scrape. And think about whether I want to put some white in there, because I am belligerent and about experimenting. Let's do some of the white. Oh, and I'm so glad it's open, because it wasn't, as I recall. I haven't been able to paint for a few days. It's been super busy. Use, I like the gold cell activator, it does seem to be working. If I don't like the white, I will change it. But it's a good experiment because I can see a whole bunch of things. Getting some really interesting cells and colors with the white. I have in the past liked to drag my spatula through things and that means I can sort of share some of the colors from one place to the next. I'm tempted to grab a little bit of white for down here. That's pretty slick. I like that. I had thought about putting some orange in and uh, I'm still tempted to put a little bit of orange on my blade because I can, because the colors are fabulous. Now, if I want that to go in here, I need to go this way. I need, I need it not to be plugged. That's what I really need. <laughs> okay, it's plugged. So I'm gonna throw a little bit of that right on my little of silicone mat. and dab my spatula into it. And just throw a few orange accents in here and there. I am waiting for the next prison pour selection of paints which have some glorious orange, yellow, pink, and a whole lot of new blues. I'm totally stoked and totally ready to receive Yeah, I like the idea that this is an experimental piece, which means I'm not done <laughs> experimenting. And I'm going to take a little bit of that Aussie Floetrol gold. I don't mind the blue in there. The blue turned out pretty nice. And I had some big cells, and I'm not that worried about keeping the biggest cells. But I am enjoying adding new stripes and the residual of that gold. We have really, really awesome cells. And I like the black is underneath. If I wanted to use a spatula to create a line underneath, I could do that. I could also take all the paint in my dish if I so desired put it down on that little few mat and use it to just tap new colors into the piece. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Springhill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery going, that was fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And uh, I'm not done having fun. I, I don't, not 100% on the white, but I think if I put a little more white in, I would probably 
resolve my issue. And do I want it to be Chantilly Lace? I could try. I think it mostly disappears, but it adds great shimmer. So let's clean off my spatula one more time and try the white in a couple new places. And the fact that the tip isn't delivering a big payload is okay with me right now. See, I can dispose of 17 minutes. All right, so what was I gonna tell you? Um, I have over 2,400 videos and they're organized by topic and genre and by the hundred and you can find them by going to my channel and looking for playlists, all playlists, created playlists. I don't know that I need to do anything else to that, but I keep saying that and then I wanna do more. <laughs> hey. Blowing out a few things wouldn't hurt. I could go through everything actually. but I actually also don't think it really needs it. But having just done so and exposed some of that black, I like the idea of doing it where the white is. I need a bigger workspace. Oh, earlier today I thought I won $350,000. <laughs> Or got a donation. So beware of the Francis Connolly European millionaires giving away their money. It's not true. <laughs> yeah, I just want to play. And I'm having too much fun playing. I'm not minding any of the paint that's coming off my spatula. Well, it wasn't until I did that, but it'll be all right. All right, you guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Know my email address is below the link tree, and don't forget about the promo code for Color Art. I am an affiliate, so when you buy Color Art products, you help me out. And when you shop my Amazon link on the link tree, you help me out. And when you look through my link tree and you find the Gallerist clothing made in Montreal, which is investment quality, and you buy it, you're not just fortunate, <laughs> you're helping me out. I really appreciate it. I'm I'm just having too much fun. The colors are fabulous. And I like breaking up the center section. And you're going to be gone in a minute and I should stop, shouldn't I? Why should I stop? It's still working. <laughs> Fantastic colors. Just love them. I love you guys too. I hope you keep coming back. I post seven days a week. Thank you for the donations that help keep me painting. If you'd like to be included in the monthly drawing and you make a donation through the pay, through PayPal link on my link tree or the icon on the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner, you'll be sent an invitation to get in the monthly drawing and you can see the prizes included at the beginning of the ex exhibition video that's included on the end screen of this video in the last 20 seconds. That was a blast. And there's nothing that I feel uncomfortable about there that I'm not allowing myself to just stick a spatula in and drag through. And I don't even mind that one white stripe anymore. Okay, you guys, I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out. If you're still here, I'll zoom in, but I don't think you're here. Oh, you are here. Probably not for very long though. Look at those cells. Woohoo! I'll bring my camera back and if you're still here you'll see a highlight and if you're not I'll see you in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Oh come on. Give me my flashlight. Look at that. Oh wow! Holy! Look at those cells! Oh my gosh! Look at those colors! Oh, that is so gorgeous! Wow! <laughs> Alright, you guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to zoom out so that I can shimmer more of that at you. This one is the ticket. This is my prize winning baby. This is going to the show in March. Unless it sells. In which case, some